Hey, how's it going? I was in a tiny chat room, a political one, a little earlier, and I lost my cool at a point. Rage quit, and then came back shortly after. I still just can't wrap my mind around it. When people are okay with a survival of the fittest kind of mindset, they're okay with people having a bullying kind of mindset because it's part of the survival of the fittest. The most powerful win, the ones that bully the most uh, win. Um, we should promote the idea of survival of the fittest. I, I, just, I, I, I can't wrap my mind around it. I, ca I, can't, I, I can't understand how someone can be okay with that. It, it, it seems like there's a moral dilemma there. Makes me think of uh, vampire stories. Some of the moral dilemma uh, when someone becomes a vampire is, well, you know, what do they have to do to survive at that point? The moral dilemma. And you can either try to do the moral thing, or you can just own the, you know, survival of the fittest mindset and go on killing sprees, right? But a lot of this was in, you know, the context of uh, the kind of, of culture that came out of Trump, you know, no more, uh, no more trying to be nice or kind. Just be, be blunt, be a bully, and uh, spread this mindset of survival of the fittest, and spread monoculturalism and and nationalism mixed with religion, and spread this notion of a uh, uh, of being completely loyal to a leader. It's, it's a good thing because it's survival of the fittest. It's the powerful winning. And I just, I, I even pointed out, well, this, the celebration of this kind of thing is exactly how the Nazis were able to achieve some of the terrible things that they did. And he's like, well, you know, uh, that's just how the world works. And if people on the left are angry at that kind of mindset and they want to stop that kind of mindset and they even get violent in order to stop that kind of mindset, the kind of mindset that's response, that's, like I said, that it's the same kind of thing that's why the Nazis were able to do some of the terrible things they did. Yeah, people that want to stop that kind of mindset, if they're violent about it, well, they're the real Nazis, right? I'm sorry, I just don't accept that. I don't accept this notion we should strive for a survival of the fittest society. Part of what makes a civilization a civilization is that we, we soften the blow of how cruel nature is. You know, we, we, things don't have to be as cruel as that. That's the point of a civilization. And this notion that we should just toss that away and just go right for a survival of the fittest. It, 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 I mean, it, it's strange to me that some of these same people that make these kinds of arguments are the same ones that are claiming that uh, us being too uh, permissive in society will lead to the, the fall of civilization. And it's just like, but, but some of these people don't seem to care about a civilization. You don't care about the, the important building blocks of a civilization, which is, again, to, to, rem to remove some of the negative sides to how cruel nature can be. So, yeah, that kind of mindset just confuses me. I don't understand. I can't wrap my mind around it. How someone can think that they're morally justified. Maybe they don't think they're morally justified. Maybe there's something else that, that drives why they promote these things. I don't know. I'm glad I got over that. Uh, you know, I mean, I got mad for a moment. I rage quit for a moment and then came back. And I'm glad I got past that. And perhaps I'll maybe be a little bit more calm when trying to confront this sort of mindset in the future. So, I guess I've rambled long enough. Thanks for listening.